Hello, I'm Raina Morgan, and I'm visiting with Frank Murray, who is the author of Natural Supplements for Diabetes. Exactly what is diabetes, Frank? Well, there are basically three types. There's type 1, mm -hmm. which you used to call juvenile onset diabetes. Mm -hmm. These are people in which something, perhaps a virus, has destroyed the pancreas' ability to produce insulin, so they have to inject insulin in order to uh, metabolize the carbohydrates and starches. So their which pancreas just doesn't function anymore? Doesn't function at all. Because my sister had that at 13. Yes. I have a sister who has it also, about that age. Mm -hmm. uh, she inherited it, which you can do uh, in some cases. So it can be a virus or it can be inherited? Yes, yes. Uh, the pancreas has just shut down and doesn't produce insulin. Mm -hmm. Type 2 is non-insulin dependent diabetes. These are people who are obese and they haven't eaten right and, and they get type 2. But a, a pediatrician once told me she's seeing teenagers weighing 300 pounds and they're getting type 2 diabetes. The third type is gestational diabetes. Mm -hmm. In the third trimester of a pregnancy, a woman may develop uh, diabetes. After the baby is born, she may get rid of it, or she may not. If she's overweight, she may continue to have diabetes. It can go away mm -hmm. and reappear after the pregnancy. So type 1, the pancreas stops functioning altogether. Yes. But in type 2, there's an insulin disruption? Insulin resistance, we call okay. it. The pancreas is producing a little insulin, and the body says, what is this stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's confused about what it is. And so those people can use medication and diet. Dr. Anderson in, in the University of Kentucky can take people off of insulin with oat bran, psyllium, uh, wheat bran. So with diet, you can get rid of type 2. 95% of the diabetics are type 2. And so you can get rid of it uh, di with diet uh, and supplements. I list a lot of them in my book and mm -hmm. also uh, uh, taking care of themselves, exercising, and uh, they can... Uh, there was an interesting study recently in Australia where they clamped the stomach, uh, clamped it mm -hmm. off, make it smaller, and the diabetics, these were middle-aged, I believe, uh, had had diabetes for quite some time. Mm -hmm. They lost 20% of their weight, and the diabetes went away. So it shows the importance of losing weight. So type 1 is when the pancreas stops functioning, and that's yes. usually juvenile, right? Yes, yes. But now our juveniles are getting type 2. Oh, yes, yes. Well, they're sitting in front of the computer all day. They're not exercising. They're getting fat. There was an interesting study in the current issue of pediatrics, and it showed that children who ate a big breakfast mm -hmm. uh, were, uh, gained less weight than those who skipped breakfast or had a meager breakfast. So it shows the importance. Of diet. Yes. yes. It's a, it can control the whole situation. Well, I, I'm amazed how many obese people there are in this U.S. It's shocking, really. The big risk here is becoming diabetic. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, as you know, the body has to have glucose mm -hmm. or sugar. And so the insulin converts the starches and the sugars into glucose, which the body has to have. The brain is desperate to have glucose. But if you get too much, the kidneys can shut down. Mm -hmm. And if you have low blood sugar, obviously that causes you to faint or whatever. And so you need a bit of sugar right. to jumpstart the uh, insulin. You have to have uh, more insulin. Thank you, Frank. Thank you.